Hi, I'm Liz from New Zealand Golf. We're at the 18th green at Tidurangi and today we're going to look at some of the rules around marking your ball. I've had a nice approach shot into the green. I've now got this part to win the match. Don't let the jitters get to you. If you do accidentally move the ball in the process of marking or unmarking the ball, don't panic. Return the ball as close as possible to the original position. If you don't do this, then you will be penalised. As good etiquette, place the marker directly behind the ball. When returning the ball, return it as close as possible to the original spot. Another situation that happens quite often in a round of golf is that your ball interferes with the play of your playing a partner's ball. If this happens, you may be asked to mark and spin it. In this case, mark the ball as you normally would and then spin it. Pick a spot nearby, like those two sprinklers, to line your putter up with. I line the putter up and span my marker. The important thing is, once your playing partner has putted out, is to return your marker and your ball to the original position. Span back your marker by realigning it to your spot. Place your ball back as close as possible to its original position. If you fail to do this, you will receive a two-stroke penalty. If you fail to correct it, it will be a serious breach of the rule. That was some tips on how to mark your ball around the putting green. I'm Liz McKinnon, and those were some of the rules of the game. <laughs>